Hey VC, cheers. How's everyone doing? Summer's here and uh, I'm back. It's been a long time, I apologize. Seems like I started every video with the same sentence. Uh, but yeah, life is uh, very busy. But I tell you one thing, it hasn't stopped me from uh, buying vinyl. And I've been on a roll like you wouldn't believe. Um, but yeah, life is, uh, life's been great. Um, my daughter's finishing high school and she's also a very serious dancer. So we've been going to her year-end dances and her prom and she's got her graduation coming up. And uh, I've been traveling a lot for work. I was in Singapore and... Um, back east in Canada and Toronto and I just got back from uh, Austria and Budapest so and of course I got vinyl in all those places and I got stacks in here to show you but I'm gonna run through this stack first that I like to share with you very quickly let's start off with some new vinyl uh, just quickly I'm gonna go through these fast this is the these new McCartney reissues this is the wings greatest that I picked up it's just a good one I like to play all the time um, I got this in Europe. Uh, this is uh, the Queen's uh, Greatest Hits 2. This is uh, part of the Half Speed Remastered series, so sounds amazing. And uh, same with uh, The Police, Ghost in the Machine. You know, I'm a big Police fan, and um, I'm going to do a video on that, but every Police album I have has a special pressing to it, whether it's uh, um, a Japanese pressing or an audiophile pressing, and this was the only one I was missing getting something unique. So that's the police, Ghost of the Machine. And lastly, something I've been looking for for a long time. Um, super excited. This is um, My Bloody Valentine Loveless. Uh, of course, it's a reissue, but Super pumped to have that, one of my favorite all-time albums that I've only ever had uh, on digital. All right, as far as the albums go, um, this is about, honestly, 30 albums I've picked out that are just great albums that I wanted to share with you right away. So if you've been watching some of my other videos, I did, uh, I've been picking up some craft work, and uh, this is Autobahn, so I was missing that. This is a Canadian pressing, but super clean. Um, really nice, clean cover. Uh, one of the greatest covers of all time, actually. So that's uh, Croftwork. Um, also been trying to fill in my blanks with the jam. This is uh, arguably their best album, maybe. Uh, this is uh, Setting Suns on the Polydor uh, Red Label. Also just a Canadian press, but super clean. Uh, this is also a uh, gold, gold stamp promo. That's right. Uh, so pick that up. Uh, got the Ramones, uh, Road to Ruin. This was number four. This is when they replaced um, the drummer with uh, Marky, right? Uh, so Road to Ruin. Uh, this is uh, Billy Bragg uh, talking with the tax man about poetry. Again, considered to be one of his best albums. Uh, this has got uh, Levi Stubbs' Tears, which was the single off of this. Uh, again, also filling in some gaps with my uh, XTC. This is English Settlement. I hope the glare is okay there. Uh, just a really nice clean copy of that. I think this is also a gold press promo. Yes, it is. Probably the same guy with the Jam Records. Also, the Big Express uh, by XTC. Um, this is a good one. This is a bit of uh, early or late 70s UK punk. This is 999 uh, Identity Parade. This had uh, Little Red Riding Hood on it, which was a favorite of mine. That's on the Albion label. Uh, Little Roxy Music, Country Life. Um, yeah, really clean copy of that. Another fantastic, uh, iconic cover. Actually, I have a lot of iconic covers uh, in, in, this, uh, in this pile. Go with that. Um, super excited to get this. This is uh, John Cale. This is Fear. 
uh, one of his solo albums. Uh, another great cover. Fantastic album. I had this on yesterday and wow, really good album. Really, really good. Uh, got some 90s grunge. This is the Afghan Wigs. Uh, this is Black Love, which was I think was their big album. Uh, another 90s. This is uh, Jane's Addiction, Ritual the Habitual. Um, this is a great album. Always a favorite. And I sort of had a little bit of a, well, including that John Cale, uh, I had a little bit of a John Cale Lou Reed pickup. This is the album they did together. I don't know much about this, but it's just in beautiful condition. And um, I was super excited. Apparently, my local record store got a Lou Reed uh, Velvet Underground John Cale Nico kind of collection dropped off. and. I kind of missed it. It came in in the morning and a couple of people already uh, dug through it, but I did manage to pick up some some pieces. So I got the Fear, I got the Duet album, I got Lou Reed uh, Berlin, and I got uh, Velvet Underground VU, which was like their B-sides kind of album. Uh, picked these two up first to my collection. This is The Grateful Dead. Um, this is uh, Blues for Alla, which when I looked it up was maybe their second or third most popular album. And this is uh, Working Man's Dead. So happy to have some Lou, or some Lou Reed, some Grateful Dead in the collection. Another one I don't have anything in my collection, and I listened to this yesterday as well. This is John Prine, Sweet Revenge. This is fantastic also. Super great album. Again, just a really nice, clean copy there. That's just on Atlantic, nothing exciting. Uh, another one for the Beef Art collection. I don't know anything about this. I'm just picking up Beef Art as I find it. Uh, again, really nice. Was this a gatefold? No, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, just again, a really nice, clean copy of that. That was, uh, I have it written on here. That's a... Uh, 1974 U.S. original. Uh, I know James, the professor, Vinyl Professor, just did a Birds um, video. This is the Notorious Bird Brothers. This is uh, 1971 U.S. second pressing, but just absolutely mint, which all of these are. That's why I picked them to show you. This was a double uh, Tom Waits, double LP, uh, the Asylum Years, this is from Asylum Records, his first, I think, maybe five or six albums, including uh, Closing Time, The Heart of Saturday Night, Small Change, Foreign Affairs, Night Nighthawks at the Diner, uh, Blue Valentine, and Heart Attack and Vine. That's a gatefold with a great Tom Waits on there. Super excited to have that really been picking up quite a bit of Tom Waits as well. And then I got a couple of early Rolling Stones. This is the U.S. Um, Aftermath. Uh, this is the mono copy. The vinyl's perfect. The, you know, these tended to get beat up pretty good, but I have the British Aftermath, so I had to get the U.S. one, which came out about six months later, I believe, with slightly different uh, songs on it. I also picked up a French um, Rolling Stones. Uh, this was uh, Between the Buttons. Just a great front cover on that. This was a French pressing. Um, this is a good album, actually. I really liked the sound in this. It was just as they were starting to change from the heavy blues. Um, and then this is also a 66 mono red label uh, of December's Children. Again, uh, you can see the wear on the album, um, but the, uh, the vinyl is beautiful and it's also a mono copy. Look at that, you can just see how beautiful that is. So the vinyl lasted really well, even though the cover got beat up. I think those covers must have been painted in a certain way or something because 
you can rarely find a really, really good one. Uh, these next ones are a couple I picked up when I was in uh, Vienna and Budapest. This is uh, The World of the Zombies. This is a mono press. Um, yeah, just a really great uh, sort of best of the early zombies. Um, we got uh, good old Ian Jury, uh, new boots and panties. Uh, this is on the uh, stiff label, which is my first uh, my first on the stiff label. So that's a U.S. or sorry, this is a German. Yeah, this is a German copy on stiff. And uh, unfortunately, there's a little bit of wear right here. There was always a hype sticker on this and someone pulled it off. But other than that, it's in great condition. The vinyl's perfect. Um, I have a European cover of Relics. I know this is just being reissued, but this is a Euro uh, first pressing. Uh, this had the... Uh, Sort of the B-sides and the early singles from the first two albums. This has Arnold Lane, Interstellar Overdrive, See Emily Play. Um, just a great, uh, great looking cover. Um, I believe this is from the Nick, Nick Mason drawing. And um, that's on Harvest. So super excited to have that. I have the um, I have the U.S. version with the guy with the wooden face on it, and then I have two Grails, two super cool Grails. I have a first pressing of um, Elvis Costello's uh, "My Aim Is True" with the uh, I'm not sure if that's the orange or the beige. There was something like nine different colors on the back. Um, and yep, not one but two stiff labels to my collection. <laughs> Went from none to two in one, in one day. Uh, and my final grail, my second grail, is Craftwork. This is a uh, Trans Europe Express. This is the uh, German first pressing um, with the poster. It's so super cool to have the poster. Yep. So that's my uh, craft work with the original cover uh, from Germany. Right. Guys, I know that was quick, but um, I want to try and get a couple of videos made tonight. And I wanted to get that one done as, though my, as those were my best pickups. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I've watched a lot of videos because when you travel, you know, it, it sounds exciting. But actually, when you're stuck in your hotel room, I've become friends with the VC. So... Cheers to all of you in good health. This is a, a Hepperweizen from Vancouver from uh, Granville Island Breweries. I'll show the bottle. That one. And um, yeah, the weather's been great here on Vancouver Island. And um, I'm hoping to come right back with another couple of updates. So cheers, everybody. Thank you.